a similar one is born here in the Star Times Uganda Premier League as one player has now gone nine games without scoring. After Villa dropped points and of course after Chitara also dropped points, they feel that um, they should be seizing the opportunity. And uh, if they can do that, then you feel that um, they will have breathed life into title aspirations that seem to be flagging. Well, center man today, Asadu Semera, will be assisted by Sharif Katenya, Ivan Lubwama and Henry Musisi as the team Bull FC will look to find themselves once again on the front foot. The team they come up against is coached by John Ayala Luinda and are buoyant after recent results. Three changes they make from their most recent game against Neck Football Club with Hassan Senyonjo, Sharif Chimboa and Beka Lukoya having no starting place tonight. In comes Blanchet Mulamba, Apollo Kagogwe, as well as Marvin Nyansi. Very good opportunity for Blanchet Mulamba, especially being that uh, he's one of those um, upstarts this season. Young man with a lot of big prospects around him. And of course, uh, Kenneth Chimera has uh, been um, firing on all cylinders for Wakiso Jans as he leads the line. Samson Chigozi will definitely also have to come in and provide enough support to the attack. But also, most importantly, that midfield without uh, the captain there, their talisman, and of course, their big industrious player, that is uh, Hassan Senyonjo. It will be a big test on how they apply themselves, and I look forward to that. But by and large, I think that um, this Wakiso Jans side come into this game with their confidence really up following uh, their recent two victories. Well, the tale of the tape is a very interesting one. If you look at how things do stand here, Bull FC have only scored 12 goals at home this particular season. Now, that literally makes them the fourth least home scoring team this season after UPDF and Wakiso Giants being the biggest strugglers who have only scored nine at home, as well as Gaddafi who have scored 11. Not at all the format of a team you expect gunning for the title. Yeah, I think it's that uh, there have been uh, real, real declines from um, quite a number of players in this uh, bull lineup. And um, the fact that they've only managed one win in the seven second round games, that is no championship form. And unless they turn it around significantly, it will be very interesting to see if they can actually sustain the run. And they need to begin by um, registering some win or actually some goals this afternoon. Well, we're just about five seconds away from kickoff as Asadu Semede makes sure it is spot on the clock and we're underway. Bull FC in the yellow and green. The purple Sharks Wakiso Giants in the purple. And in the cut back there, needed a little bit more precision. Just a little more of a delicate touch. Mugurusi gets it forward. Spiked away. Picked up here by Mugurusi once again. The industriousness of Mugurusi here is on full show. Yeah, you can see how much he's uh, giving them. So many touches already on the ball. And you can see how he's uh, getting other players involved in play because of his very good control, very good passing. Well, dictates the play of the game as a chance could be carved out here from the wing. Now that's a little too ambitious. Senkungu needs to do better on his far post marking. He's been found wanting twice as Jerome Kiria will fancy a chance. Good attempt here from Jerome Kiria. Just could not bring it down well enough. But Bull looking very threatening here tonight. Yeah, I don't think that I've seen them play this well in the first eight minutes of the game where they're passing, moving and they're finding each other. Now that just tells you the improvements that they've made in training over the last few days. And that attempt by uh, Jerome Chiria, not a bad idea at all. Just that um, he needs to actually get um, the right elevation on the ball. And uh, if they continue playing like this, then you think that um, they should be able to get um, a goal soon. Here we are. The brilliant attempt here. Just didn't hit the target. Kiso okay, Giants, for all their sturdiness at the back and their silky flow in the midfield, after 12 minutes of play, yet to show any real potency up front. Yeah, that's true. And West, we know them for being a very good team when it comes to ball possession, but um, they are still failing to cope with um, the attacks of um, this Bull Football Club and even the press. You can see how they just lost the ball there. Picked up by Regan Kalioa. Fancy this chance! Regan Kalioa nearly caught them all ball watching. Bashir Sekaja asking his defense, how much do you want me to keep you in the game? You need to give me a lifeline. Big save from Sekaja. That was a brilliant take there coming in from Regan Kalioa and the, equally so from Bashir Sekaja. That was a real, real good goal, goal, goal keeping there. 
Mwere skins his marker, tries to bring in a good cross. That one just goes away. That was a fabulous... This is going to be his fourth game in a row. Kaliowa getting it on to Chitata. Out of desperacy there. Sheer will to try and just move that ball somewhere close to goal. Yeah, but did you see the kind of... Um, retrieve that they played there after losing the ball they just flooded the Wakiso Giants players and they just took the ball away from them that is a very good attitude being shown by Boo Football Club well now they'll try to drive a more direct approach here Mugurusi lets it fly I think that um, maybe there's something that is still locked in him there that he, he clearly needs um, to work on good through pass there from Mugurusi to test out the goalkeeper Chitata Still blocked here, and it's a corner. But Shil Sekaja with a double save in double instance. Mwere with a delicate, threatening cross. That was pretty deceptive. And Chitata picking up the rebound. Still goalless. Well, that was a very well-weighted cross coming in from Mwere. But I thought it was probably a bit too far for the striker. Was he going to the striker or was he trying to square himself? ball coming in from the corner and uh, quite the debris down in the box area very Look. close very close you think that if Mwere had got a touch to that ball it would have ended up in the back of the net he came very close and that's a bit of uh, the undoing that you feel that um, this Blue Football Club will be feeling that they've got the chances but somehow they're not being clinical and hasn't that been their story in the second round that they've got the chances including the penalty that they missed against SC Villa so you can see that Finishing has been a big problem for them. Similar shades to what we saw against UPDF in the other loss that they've had here in recent times. Yeah, exactly. UPDF's almost first shot on target ended up uh, being the winner. Well, a little too aggressive there. Rekan Kaliowa looked intent on taking out his man, Asadu Semere. I think he was just Might late. have uh, lost the spray there. <laughs> Buys him some good grace allowing Reckon <laughs> to walk away. I think for a moment there he was uh, really thinking about uh, pulling a booking here. But Marvin Yanzi feeling the strain of having to be the t uh, ticking metronome of this team in that midfield. Well, the thing is that uh, that was uh, really aggressive, and on another day that would uh, easily be a yellow card. But I think because uh, Regan Kaliowa first foul and he's not been a dirty player in the game, and generally it's been a clean game, I think that's why the referee has uh, decided to be. A little lenient on him, but um, he can't afford to do that again. Kariowa skips away from a challenge, sets up a chance here, looking for an opportunity and a proper team goal. Jerome Kiria slicing that one through the entire defense. It was the first venture forward of the man that has been anchoring that midfield, Pascal Ngobi, and he cut it back with delicate precision of a sergeant little Bashir Sekaja could do this time they were outed well the thing is that uh, it was a beautiful counter-attack of sorts because you could see that uh, Wakiso Giants uh, were not well positioned but then the idea that is uh, well executed there by Pascal Ngobi for his partner in that midfield was beautiful and you think that um, thought assistant it was. referee had other ideas I actually thought it was a corner well, 45 minutes played and Asadu Semere deems no need for any added time. So can they maintain more of the same? Jerome Kiria will be expected to replicate similar form to the first half in which Bull have totally dominated Wakiso Giants. Well, he has a chance now to make an impact from the corner. Gurusi waves it in. Well, chance here! Oh, well, that was a brilliantly delivered ball. Alex Chitata knows just how close they came. 810 minutes and counting without a Chitata goal. It almost came to a short stop there. It just wasn't to be. Well, that was a very well delivered corner kick and I would have expected Alex Chitata to score it. But, you know, when you're not in form, even the easy chances you cannot uh, utilize and i'm sure that he's he must be thinking as a player when can he get his break and you also feel that if he would get his break in that kind of moment then it would boost his confidence and then it would open up um, a goals galore for him 
but that was real stellar showing. If it hadn't been for Pade Muhumuza to be really up against it, yeah. Joe Motakuwa probably would have been the man of the match in that game. But here's a chance to get their work cut out. Blanche Amulamba just could not control the ball. And Aprem looking to get the ball through and able to get to it there. Now twisting in that midfield, Masiko gets the return ball. Tom, Semuemba Masiko, through pass, Blanche. A little too delicate. Probably beginning to think the coach may have a few changes in his mind sooner than later. But Chitata is on a clean break. Can he make it count without a shred of doubt? Samson grows his hair back and Chitata is among the goals. Bull is leading by two goals to nil. Was there any doubt in such a situation that any other result would be inevitable? Alex Chitata scores again. Bull of C lead by two goals to the good. Well, the thing is uh, simple. Once uh, Wakiso Jazz will not press the ball after they lose it. That's true. And um, I don't think that uh, when they look back at the way they've performed today, that they have created any chances. Do you remember any real chances being created by uh, Wakiso Jazz in this game? Even a shot on target that um, maybe the goalkeeper, Tommy Kara, saved. I don't remember it, and that's the real indictment. Held strong. Actually, I'm um, reliably informed it's zero shots on target for Wakiso Giants now. That's oh, wow. really bad. Oh, wow. Chitata will fancy his opportunity. Sekaja will continue doing what Sekaja has been doing also. An interesting statistic is that Tommy Carr has already kept eight clean sheets, looking for clean sheet number nine. Floated in. Fine decision there. If you think it's interesting that Tommy Kara has kept eight clean sheets, then you'll probably be more surprised that Bashir Sekaja has kept seven. Mm. He's one of those that has kept um, Wakiso Giants um, in many games, I must say. His uh, exploits has uh, been pulling off some incredible saves off in time. Blanda! Nicked in! Double strike here for Alex Chitata. Scrappy it might be. It won't matter. In the grand scheme of things, Bull of the Old are back. Well, I'll tell you that um, we're talking about how a third goal would be very important. But little did I know that it would come as a result of uh, this kind of Mickey Mouse defending coming in now from um, Wakiso Giants. Because nobody could hit the ball and somehow they just let the ball float over their heads and... Um, run right into the path of um yes we're counting chitara bull vipers and ac villa neck which is 40 to 44 points is it a little far-fetched to bring kcc into this conversation i was thinking about the same thing points, a short way you know and the earlier points today. are being dropped <laughs> it would make a very interesting story for a team that was battling relegation you know, get to the final two or three days of the season and they're like hey we are up in this well i'll tell you something jermaine knowing how unpredictable this league is you can only write off cases at your own peril because you, you're not sure who is uh, going to drop points because just imagine what happens when villa beat, meet uh, vipers next week one of them could drop points or both of or them, both could, of them dro could. Could, drop, could drop points shot from distance nicolas muere looking to add goal number four to his tally this season so if if, if uh, Villa and Naviper share the spoils, where does that leave KCC in the in the running? Needless to add, KCC have a game in hand. Yeah, exactly. Because they're on 22 games, apart from Villa and Vipers, who are in danger of dark times, still ahead. Cross in, cleared away. Picked up well there. Ever there's been a game where the influence of Hassan Senyonjo has been uh, truly and remarkably felt as absent. This would be one of those that you would hang up as a textbook example. Exactly. Exactly. And it was um, one of the things that I uh, was missing in that uh, midfield, the leadership that he provides. There was just no leadership in that work. So Jan said there was no drive, there was no energy, there was no dynamic. Sin is a pickup. This is where Bull FC need to realize that the game is not done until the final whistle. Just allowing Samson and Ruchigozi to ghost in and have a free pick at their goalkeeper is unacceptable. 
Well, the thing is that it's um, good for Bull Football Club that they had their goalkeeper read a lot. Otherwise, that's the kind of ball that you think could have easily ended up in the back of the net. But the goalkeeper was well positioned and he reacted um, hastily there in uh, keeping um, the threat that was uh, directed towards his goal out. Referee Asadu Semere closes this one off and the table standing.